I'm sure that you might have at least heard about certification and accreditation in context of management systems. Most of us use these two terms interchangeably. Even though these two terms are closely related, they are distinct terms. My name is Kevin Kutto and in this video, I'm going to simplify the difference between certification and accreditation for you. If you like the content, consider subscribing and liking the video so that we bring more such content for you. Let's begin with our first term, which is certification. Now, certification is an audit by third party of an individual product or organization to confirm if they meet criteria laid out in recognized standard or scheme. Let's elaborate this definition further. So, first of all, we have got an individual product or organization seeking certification. This individual product or organization is claiming that they follow all the requirements of certain standard or scheme and they are seeking certification of conformance to showcase to the world. This certification will bring credibility to those individuals, product and organizations in this competitive world. Now the question is, who puts down these standards or schemes which these individuals, product or organizations follow and seek certification for? The body, which is also known as body of knowledge or BOK, conducts extensive research, lay down and regularly update the requirements in the particular standard or scheme. There could be unique body of knowledge or BOK for different standards like ISO 9001-2000 or IATF-16949 standards or there could be different body of knowledge for different knowledge areas like project management or Six Sigma. So far we understood that the organization is claiming to meet all the requirements of the standard laid down by body of knowledge and they are seeking certification for the same. Now the next question is how and who is going to certify that the organization which is seeking the certification is really meeting all these requirements as per the given standard or scheme and that's where third party comes into the picture. The third party sends auditor to the organization and this auditor will evaluate if the organization is complying to all the requirements of the standard and eventually they will recommend to award the certification saying the organization is compliant as per the particular standard. Now there might be unique third party organizations to cater individuals, products or organization certifications in different knowledge areas. For example, we have Project Management Institute which offers the certification in project management like Project Management Professional Certification. We have ASQ that means American Society for Quality which offer different certifications in the area of Six Sigma like Master Black Belt. We have ASME that means American Society of Mechanical Engineers which offer different certifications in mechanical engineering and specifically dimensioning and tolerancing like GDTP or geometric dimensioning and tolerancing professional certification. These certifications are awarded to the individuals upon they complete all the prerequisites of the certification and pass the exam. Similarly, Hallmark for Gold or ISI for products offered by Bureau of Indian Standards or BIS adds credibility to those products quality. Third party organizations like TUV or IRQS conduct audits and reward ISO 9001-2000 or IATF-16949 certifications. So hopefully now you might have got a clear understanding of how certification works. Now let's understand accreditation. Accreditation on other hand is an assessment of competence, impartiality of organization and compliance of their work to nationally and internationally recognized standards or schemes. So in this case, NABL or AICTE or UGC, they can provide accreditation to certain labs or certain engineering colleges to conduct or provide certain services. Let's understand this with the example. In this example, we have NABL, 
that means National Accreditation Board for Testing and Calibration Laboratories. NABL could grant accreditation to the product testing labs upon confirming these three requirements. The first requirement is the lab is competent to carry product testing and approval as per NABL requirements. The second requirement is lab is impartial organization and that means they will not be influenced by company seeking product approval. The third requirement is lab is capable to meet national and international standards as prescribed by NABL. Once the product lab gets the accreditation from the NABL to carry certain tests and product approvals, they could offer these services to the organizations seeking the product approvals. Now, it's very important to understand that these accreditations are defined by the definite scope. Like an organization which has received accreditation for the product approval cannot do instrument calibration activities until they seek accreditation for instrument calibration activities as well. Other examples of accreditations are like engineering colleges which accredited by AICTE can offer engineering degrees. Colleges which are accredited by UGC can offer higher education. It basically means that particular college is complying to all the requirements set by AICT or UGC and therefore is capable to offer degrees to the students and these degrees will be nationally recognized and some cases even internationally recognized. So I hope that now on you will always use certification and accreditation terms in appropriate context. Thanks for watching and see you in the next learning video.